The Samsung Moon photos are not fake, but the photos as we see them cannot be said to have been taken by the camera. Because if they're fake, then this photo and this photo and this photo should also be fake, but we don't call them that, right? Almost every photo that comes out of a smartphone, any smartphone at all, has a touch of something to it. It's not just the same as what we actually see with our eyes. It could be added saturation, added brightness. I mean, look at what HDR does, for example. A super exposed image is not only balanced, but looks more appealing to your eyes. So there's some form of machine learning or computational photography or AI, if you will, processing these images such that it's why sometimes you take a picture and it takes a while or a couple of seconds just to process and adjust the image such that it can make it more appealing from the colors to the bokeh which is the blur you get in portrait mode around the subject to the zoom is all processed now that brings us to the zoom and the moon first of all you don't need a 100x zoom to take a photo of the moon even the s23 plus's uh, 30 times zoom can do just that which is what i have here secondly is of all the image processing i've just talked about right now with your regular photos this moonshot thing seems to be the most extreme i'm not gonna lie and so i kind of understand you when you say it's kind of fake. It's near to impossible for a smartphone camera to take a photo that clear that far away. I mean, Huawei for one just decided to layer an actual moonshot on top of the camera shot. <laughs> time no day, they don't have the time for image processing. Samsung actually took their time to train their system, like I said, machine learning, uh, with countless number of moon photos to not only give you the shot when you take the picture, but also to not confuse something like a golf ball in the dark as the moon. So it's basically like like when you take an overexposed picture and you don't expect it to stay that way you expect the phone to process it to make it much better and Samsung is like we got you and they use HDR to adjust the brightness and the exposure to make it much more balanced and appealing same thing happens when you're trying to take the moon photo as you try to do that Samsung is like we got you and they reduce or turn down the exposure to the lowest lock the stabilization sharpen the image and as it does that the processing kicks in to figure out where the craters are going to be and it's so good that even if there are clouds passing by it still maintains them as you can see here so the conclusion here is the photos of the moon are not fake they're just processed and adjusted just like any other photo you take with your smartphone if you still want to believe that they're fake, no problem. But just know that any photo you take with your phone or you've taken with your phone are also fake. The ball is in your court now. This is just my analysis and my opinion.